56. The Israeli government spokesman Mark Regev joins us from Jerusalem. Uh, Mr. Regev, it's, it's a pleasure to have you with us here. We want to talk about this humanitarian window. Uh, we understand that it, there was supposed to be an hour left in this window of opportunity to sort of get some people out, some supplies in. Already we've witnessed and heard and seen several explosions just in the past few minutes. Sounds as though this ceasefire is over. Well, the truth is we announced uh, earlier today a humanitarian ceasefire. We did that in coordination with the United Nations at their request. Uh, the trouble is Hamas rejected it uh, and then continued to shoot. And a ceasefire means not just Israel's ceasefire. Uh, and a ceasefire means that Hamas must ceasefire too. And if rockets continue to be shot at our cities and so forth, of course, that means the ceasefire has become null and void, and so we have re restarted operations. But the reason that we didn't last the full four hours was Hamas, who said openly and publicly, we reject this ceasefire. It's a pity. We would have preferred it to be the full four hours. Uh, Mr. Regev, I want to ask you about an incident that's happened within the last 24 hours. A U.N. school hit. The Palestinians, the United Nations, say it was from Israeli troops. It was Israeli munitions that hit this. As we said before, 19 people are dead, including children. Does Israel need to be doing more to protect children and civilians in Gaza? Look, this, this, this incident is a tragedy and it's shocking. And no one wants to see innocent civilians caught in the crossfire between us and Hamas. Let me be clear about that. And we are making a maximum effort to be as, as targeted as is possible in a difficult combat environment. But the question that has to be asked is but, why has a UN facility been turned into a combat zone? And the answer is clear. Hamas has had a deliberate policy of abusing UN facilities. Not that Mark Regev says so. I can be seen in New York and all the delegates to the United Nations have to hear this. You have a consistent pattern of behavior by Hamas to abuse uh, 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 UN neutrality, to abuse UN humanitarian work. And we've seen three documented cases where Hamas has stored rockets at UN facilities, rockets that are ultimately shot at Israel. On we Saturday, we had an Israeli soldier who was shot dead by fire that came from or immediately adjacent to a, a, a UN facility, meaning the terrorist, the Hamas operative, was using uh, uh, that facility, that UN facility, as a human shield. So if there is fighting going on and around UN facilities, if our forces were involved in a firefight, it's because Hamas has decided that it's open season on the UN.